Greetings everyone. Sister Hagar here. Um I have some updates for you. And boy is it a doozy. When I say it's a doozy, I mean it's a doozy. Um it's kind of like a um an honor and a blessing to be called to do something like this, but then it's like on the other hand, um, when you despise something and somebody so much, it's definitely distasteful and extremely annoying to constantly have to look at them, look at their face, listen to their voice, talk about them constantly. Um, when you just have such hatred and disdain for something in someone, it can become very sickening to have to just keep on bringing them back up and them to just be everywhere however um those of us who are caught we have a duty to fulfill and that's what i'm gonna do lord willing you just have to keep um pushing forward um somebody commented to me in one of my comments not too long ago that I must be obsessed with Obama and yes I'm obsessed with ex exposing him because the Holy Spirit is obsessed with exposing him and so when you're filled with the Spirit and you're following where the Spirit is going and you're trying your best to obey and do what um, the Spirit wants you to do you know the Lord says the wind blows wherever it pleases we don't know where it comes from or where it's going um we're talking about the spirit of god here um the same spirit of god that completely took over jeremiah's body um when he literally spoke on behalf of god in israel to deliver his message and so when you're filled with the holy spirit it's just a unquenchable fire every single day that um, you've given yourself willingly over to become that vessel. And it's just something that drives you and you're determined and dedicated, um, to complete what you're called to do. And the Lord gave me a dream many years ago telling me that I have to stay on this person's trail. Wherever he goes, I must go. This is like my arch nemesis, somebody I was born to hate, born to expose, born to track and keep up with um, because he's moving so quickly and doing so many things that it takes specific ministries to be able to keep up with it all and see it all and understand it in the spirit and expose it all. Um... And the Lord gave me a dream many years ago sh telling me, you know, I was just one of these people at that time who just thought it was all about me and I wanted to escape this world and I'm just ready to go in the rapture. And that's just what I sat around and thought about. <clears throat> and the Lord sent me a dream and he showed me this character right here was handing out bread to the people. And I heard in the dream the Lord say, he's handing out his bread. I want you to be there. Wherever this man goes, I have to go and follow him. I have to track him down and pursue him. And wherever he's there handing out his bread, the Lord wants me to be there to oppose him handing out bread. But the bread I'm handing out is the bread of the Lord on behalf of the Lord. The true bread, the true Jesus Christ, the true word of God. Okay. What bread he's handing out is false bread to the people that the people are eating and getting deceived by. So having said all that, which I never noticed, this is the dream from a year ago that I shared with you guys. Um... A little, I think a few days ago, and I never even noticed over here on the side 
that I'm not exactly familiar with this channel or ministry, but whoever's video this is, there's our 37 alarm warning, guys, 837. So just yet another confirmation. Um, now to get to what I actually brought you guys here for today. Um, I shared this with you the other day with the third dinner on March 3rd, 33 Masonic um, sign. And I was showing you guys how the Lord had me prophesy a year in advance that black tie dinner event. Well, I have another update regarding this. And I didn't I tell you guys, this is exactly what the prophecy said word for word that that um, black tie dinner was a tie marker. And that as soon as we, when we saw that happen, that it wasn't just a dinner, that all the other things that I described in this um, prophecy and interpretation were going to come flowing out of it. And lo and behold, what, not even a week later, we have some very disturbing developments. As you can see from the headlines... It's now in the works for him to start creating television programming and shows. Not one show. Not some like, you know, special. Where you have like, you know, like a special event program or episode of something. That would be one thing. No, we're talking about multiple television shows. See, shows. More than one. So he's going to be producing programming and it's starting off with Netflix okay I'll include one of these links below so you guys can um, read it but let's just go take a look back at some of the details that were inside of this prophecy from a year ago regarding the black tie dinner and then all the associated events that would come out of it once that time marker, once that event occurred. All right. So, and as you can see, even in the dream, I'm like annoyed and overwhelmed because I'm saying I'm hearing more from him now than I did when he was, you know, in office. And that's how I honestly feel. I feel like... He's stalking the world like he just won't give us a break. You know, it's like a relationship that we didn't sign up for. And this person is just stalking us, wanting to be with us. And it's like, we don't want to be with you. And it's like, we just can't catch a breath or take a break. It's like, wherever we turn, he's just there everywhere. And it's so annoying. Like, we can't even listen to music, watch TV. There's nothing we can do. He's just everywhere inside of trying to get his hands in every single thing. Um, and so even that element was described in my dream. How I was just saying, I'm just hearing so much from him now, even more than when he was in power. Um, and so let's look at this part where I'm speaking of. It was a massive deception awaiting the crowd of people. And then I saw... A crowd gathering, but then also there was a performance and worship about to take place. So it was like a stage and there was about to be some sort of performance. And here we have part of that prophecy. Yes, is the rebellious um, youth generation, obviously, that we already covered and we can see manifesting um, that rebellious youthful group that's uprising now to perform on his behalf, who are being influenced by him going forth to do his works. But also, another layer, you know, we could also describe this stage and performance, obviously exactly what it sounds like, okay, where he's getting ready. And this isn't just going to be another person making like a documentary about him. That would be more normal. This is going to be him producing his own programming, picking the content, producing it, making, he's literally making the shows himself. 
and it's just going to be carried on this platform, Netflix, which is obviously very popular and what most people have these days. So check, we see the performance. I said that there was a massive deception. Um, and then here when I break down the interpretation by the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, I say he will have a platform that is, I'm right here just in case you guys, right here with the bold, heavily influential. He will have a platform. This is the Holy Spirit prophesying through me over a year ago. He will have a platform that is heavily influential. And he will go on to yield great power amongst the worldly and ungodly. Okay, so we're talking about a platform. And this is not the only one. Obviously, there are several others that have already manifesting and there's much more to come. But I'm just highlighting how, if anything, fits the bill and fits into this prophecy as far as having a platform that's heavily influential. You can't get more influential than entertainment, television, um, and a platform, something like Netflix, okay? Let's move on and look at another example. Alright, this is just another article about the same topic, same story. Um... Programming. What is some programming? Even the word they're picking is <laughs> so telling because that's exactly what it's going to be brainwashing and literally programming. And this is just Netflix um, in the middle of meetings for his programming to be produced on their platform. And, and like I said, this is going to be multiple different shows, not just one or a special event. Um, look at this. We have our 17 confirmation right here. Guys, <laughs> and this is just going into talking about how big Netflix is as far as the platform. And they're saying, I'm right here. In this um, second little paragraph, by the way, the streaming service, which has 117 million subscribers around the world. So there's our 17 confirmation, ding, 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 which would give the president expanded access to his audience, hmm, his audience, he has an audience. Adding to his 101 million Twitter followers and the 55 million people who are followers on his Facebook page. While the shows, talking about the programming and television shows on Netflix, will give Obama a global platform. Okay? Global, worldwide, platform. Where have we heard that word before? Oh, it's in the prophecy that the Holy Spirit gave me a year ago. He will go on to have a platform that is heavily influential. And he will go on to yield great power. And the title of this prophecy, way back when everyone thought everything was over, and they said, oh, you guys were false prophets. This didn't happen. It didn't work out. And those who were going forward with the Lord was saying, I entitled it. He is not done yet a year ago. And now we have that prophecy coming to pass in 100% truth and accuracy. So, um, so, I mean, as you guys already know, this is something that's actually becoming more popular than television itself. Platforms like Netflix. With our 17 confirmation, they have approximately 117 million subscribers and it's a global platform. So this is just another very large, um, just another very large group of people globally that is just being added. That's just being added to the growing massive movement and crowd um, that he's 
yielding power and influence over, just like all of our prophecies have been saying for a while now. Um, okay, let's look at uh, another prophetic video I released actually a couple months after this one about the Black Tie event. This is from June of 2017. And it was just a little update I was giving on the subject. But let's look inside of the details of just what the Spirit was speaking through me and the interpretation. Um, I'm saying, as time goes on, now this is from June of 2017. As time goes on, I'm right here by the way. So, as time goes on, you will hear Obama be more and more vocal telling the world what it should do and governments and citizens will follow influence from him will spread let's see what the holy spirit said almost a year ago influence from him will spread through what through the popularity of the media and social culture and celebrities hmm Does this check the boxes of social, culture, media? I don't think you can fulfill this anymore in regarding to this, these things the Holy Spirit were saying going to be used as weapons of his to spread his influence. I don't think you can get any more media-based and social culture-based than a platform like Netflix and television programming. So... Now, also piggybacking or building on the whole Nazi Hitler um, spirit comparison that I've been drawing in my videos. Guess who else had television programming? Immediately when I saw this, and this was this morning, as soon as I wake up, I have to look at this garbage and I have to see this. But as soon as I saw it, I said, oh, who does that remind me of? Yep, guess who else had their own television network where they broadcasted propaganda that helped brainwash and influence and enslave the people into becoming subservient, submissive, and in agreement with the whole Nazi movement. They were being bombarded. 24 hours a day broadcast it what seemed like entertainment or you know every single thing it was in the music shows that came on tv playing music every single thing was just non-stop propaganda non-stop propaganda um so they were one of the first people to develop their own television network actually and here's just one of the shows from the old TV network okay and I guess he's playing a song or whatever program that was but best believe it was propaganda so you had people being brainwashed non-stop through the same platform and medium that we have right now today nothing is new under the sun guys that same spirit that's now at work it's just the same old bag of tricks in this article is just saying the third reich so now what he's doing rising up is now the fourth reich it's that same spirit just like we have that fourth kingdom that rises inside of prophecy it's the same thing so where was i oh i want to look back at this so yeah, and even in their logo, what do you think that is? Mm, they probably have a, I don't know whether they consider this an eagle. I don't know what they consider it or claim that it is to the layman and the public, but I can tell you what it really was a symbol for. That's the Phoenix rising. Remember that. Because I'm going to touch on that a little bit later. So, 
So let's read this from the article. It's saying the Third Reich was big into the new medium of television. So this is around the time that television first was created. And notice they called it a medium. Okay. I should see something for a second. I want to see if I can get a particular definition of that word pulled up. So obviously it means a system of communication such as radio, newspaper, and television. We already know that. So that's one side of the coin as far as what we're talking about. But there's also another meaning to that word. One of the meanings is like a channel. Okay. Just bear with me. Okay, so here we have the definition of mediumship or what will be referred to as a medium. In so-called spiritualism, psychic sense used by mental mediums, paranormal fields, psychic abilities, clairvoyant mediums. Okay, so these are people that are involved with the occult, channeling, so-called, being quote-unquote psychics, um, communication from the dark and spiritual realm. Even in scripture... Let's look at this word or this meaning of this word medium. So this is just saying in Leviticus, do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists. Okay, so these are like occult channelers and um, psychics. So that has a lot to do with... Technology, television, programming, things like that. It's not just a scientific, physical um, invention, technology-wise. It also, obviously, is very prominently used with the spiritual aspect of the influence coming through whatever's being shown. So, we have that same spirit mimicking now operating through one of the most powerful and influential platforms you can possibly have, which is television and media. So, let's go back to this article. There's a couple details I want to pull. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, so let's look down here saying executives from Apple and Amazon, which have their own streaming services, basically they have their own companies that are very similar. They have their own versions of 
Netflix. So we see Netflix has 117 million global platform. What do you think these other platforms also come with? Millions and millions and millions of more people globally, platform, power, influence. Just like they said, it only adds to his 55 million followers on Facebook globally. And then we add on to that 100 million, 100 million followers on just Twitter alone. And this is just speaking of the culture that's even online that even has Twitter and Facebook. This isn't even talking about all of the people outside of that who don't have those platforms to follow him. He has global followers outside of these platforms, people that don't even have access to this stuff. But just even looking at those numbers regarding these platforms, <laughs> the numbers are adding up, guys. And so it's saying executives from Apple and Amazon, which have their own streaming services, have also expressed interest in talking to him about producing shows on their platforms. So you have all three of these very powerful, very big streaming platforms that produce programming. And that influences the world on a global scale. Just like you know who did. So, speaking of Apple and Amazon, that, that was the other two companies aside from um, Netflix. Don't you notice, guys, we just keep on running back into the same old people and the same old companies? If you've been following my videos, you know that I've been mentioning this person over and over and over. I first mentioned him back in my tech giants. That's what those companies are. Apple, Amazon, Netflix. These are tech giant companies ran by what our culture refers to as tech giants, which I already have a playlist and videos on exposing the tech giants. And I already told you guys in advance, I started warning about this months ago before any of this came out, that these characters make up part of the false prophet body. And ever since then, I put that video out. We just keep on running into them over and over and over. He had the Cashless Society store that I share with you guys. He owns the Washington Post. I believe that's the name of the um, newspaper that is helping to promote... Um, the Antichrist's rise back to power. I showed that in another video. And here he is again. This is the owner of Amazon. Which they just said in that article. Amazon is also interested in getting Obama. Sh having him produce content and make shows for their streaming television platforms as well. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably thought it was goofy when I first said that these tech giants are a manifestation of the fallen ones and the giants from scripture spiritually they're manifesting in a different way but they're working to accomplish the same goal and the false prophets spirit works to help support and build up the antichrist in his system and what do we have we have them him and his cashless society stores, him with his owning the Washington Post and other media outlets that all are part of this influence. We have him owning Amazon, which is now going to be streaming, trying to get Obama to make shows and programming for his television platform um, company. So this has just been fulfilling and manifesting 100% accurately. Ever since um, this was revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. And I, guys, there's so much more I could tell you about this person in Amazon. I can't even get to it all. Um, it's just so much more. So let's move on to the second company that was mentioned. They said Amazon and Apple. Which, I mean, we all know about this. I mean, this is self-evident. 
when you can look at that and discern it. So this is the owner of Apple. We all know what this is trying to imply. So we already know what spirit is at work behind it. Okay. So Apple. And this is another tech giant. I haven't really touched on him. I've mainly mentioned like Elon Musk and the Amazon guy. But <laughs> best believe he's a part of it also. The tech giants. Modern day manifestation of the falling. Guys, this isn't about an upcoming invasion. That's going to be some Hollywood production with UFOs showing up. Will that ever happen? I have no idea. But there's a very good possibility that it, it will not manifest that way. Right now, we already have the invasion. The invasion has been here and playing out for many, many years already. We're well into this thing. They've been operating undercover by influence, spiritual influence and deception under the radar. Not running around like an ugly Hollywood alien that everybody's going to notice and want to stray away from. Just looking like normal people. Putting out quote unquote normal things that everyone has and everyone enjoys right under our noses. So I'm going to pick back up with this in part two.